When you're starting out in business, it's going to be overwhelming. You're going to get pulled in a hundred different directions, but don't worry. This is absolutely normal. My name is Oliver Fernandez and welcome to The Imperfect Entrepreneur. This is a show for people that that used to think they were perfect or try to, you know, be perfect and not do anything and they've overcome the being prefer- trying to be perfect and just out there taking action imperfect action so that they can get their business off the ground grow their business then scale their business which bring means bringing on additional people and start hitting their targets and goals man it's it's, it's super excited to be here with you today my uh family's a little all over the place right now uh I, my, my my baby boy he got sick and you know it's like one of those things where you don't know if it's his teeth or he got like a bug from school and then my my daughter we were like playing basketball the other day and uh you know she was being rough rough housing with my uh with, with, with me so i just like i went in and reached and grabbed and i i, I kind of scratched her face and i'm like oh i feel so bad but uh we're, we're doing great my wife is doing awesome right now too so uh yeah so Right now, I'm, you know, 15 years into business, but whenever we take on a new line of business, I always like to be involved in the beginning. And like, it's crazy in the beginning too, because it's just, you're all over the place. But the reason why I like to be involved in the beginning is because I need a pre, we need to prove out the business model. We need to make sure that this thing is profitable and we need to make sure that there, there's a, there's a, there's a process that is, that can be followed and duplicated throughout the organization. So we, we, we got these like smaller GSA projects on the general construction side. And, and honestly, that business is focused primarily on these like larger one, two, three, four, five million dollar projects. Sometimes we would get like a smaller 150, 500, $750,000 job. But our, our main focus and attention was on these larger projects. And, and then going after these larger projects, we, 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 we hit a $5 million award, but it's broken up into a bunch of smaller projects. So the number is, is the final number will still be a large project, but it's, it's a, a bunch of smaller projects in the meantime. And, and we were, you know, we've been kicking this thing off for the last year and a half. And, you know, like the, the way that it was set up is like, we're supposed to be getting a million dollars a year from each one of these projects. And, we hit five of them. So there's 5 million in Mississippi, 5 million in South Carolina, 5 million in, in North Carolina, 5 million in Georgia and 5 million in Kentucky. So like, it seems like, Oh wow, man, they, we've got a ton of stuff coming our way, but this is where want, a lot of business owners make mistakes and they just start hiring all these people. And like, Oh, well I got this promise. I got this contract. And they're like, no, like, like, yeah, you got the contract, but they still need to award task orders on that contract for you to actually get paid, right? Like you can have this con, like if on the, even on the real estate side, if you're an agent or you're a broker, right? Like, yeah, you can, you can get a, 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 a development for that you're going to sell. And there's like 20 properties in there, but you know, if, if those properties actually don't sell, like, like you have to stay in alignment with that, right? You have to make sure that they're ready to be sold. And then, and then what they, like, they, they actually are starting to get under contract because if not, you're going to have all these expenses and no revenue. Right. Uh, and, and we, we've learned that a lot, even on like the, the flooring side of the business where like, yeah, we'll get like a hundred unit development, and you know the builder still needs to build the homes. Like they, they still there's still a process. The the homeowner still needs to select the product. So we can't just all of a sudden go start hiring all these people to fulfill the the hundred home order. Like we got to stay in alignment. And, and as we get actual official orders signed off on that development, then we can start bringing on people. But in the beginning, it's always going to be crazy. Just like in this this the, these projects, these smaller projects that we are getting, it's always going to be crazy in the beginning. And that's okay. That's okay because you know that it's it's gonna like there's there's there there's gonna be a change in, in there's a, there's a change in the organization. There's more activity. There, the, what follows activity? Results follow activity, especially if you can prove it out that it's profitable, right? And 
like we're we're out there proving this process out and we have been proving it out and now we're starting to really start getting some traction like these now the task orders are actually starting to be awarded not just like hey come price this and hey come price that now they're actually starting to be awarded so now this is actual revenue if like we go in there we complete the project now this is real revenue to the bottom line of the business which is which is really exciting and the the as a business owner like you're you're kind of especially in the beginning uh, like of this process you're 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 running all over the place and you're trying to execute and you're you got you're trying to m serve the customer and make sure they have all the answers and to all their questions and the responses that they need to keep the process moving forward and it's kind of like basically when when I first started out my business like we didn't have all the contracts we had now, but we had, we, we started getting new things and I didn't have the team built out at that point. So like a lot of that stuff was, was me and I was getting pulled in all these different directions. It's like, Oh my God, this is crazy. And it, it's good to be cr that, that crazy, but it's not good to stay that crazy. Right. And the only way you can get out of that crazy is to bring on additional team members that can help support that. Right. So, yes, we're, we're, we're going around and we're doing these, 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 uh, we're getting these awards. Right. And I'm in the process with the team navigating it in the beginning and making sure like this thing stays in alignment because I, we don't need to be in a situation where we're, where we're losing money. Once we prove out that it's making money, then it's like, pop, start falling, like filling in with, with other high performing team members that can get this process and follow this process to the, to the, to the finish line. Right. And now once you follow this process to the finish line, you now have the ability to, as the owner of the organization or, or as the, the leader in the organization to then pull back out of that specific scenario. Cause now you have someone that, that is, that can do that, 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 that fill, fulfill that role. And for me, it's like, it's a good thing because like, you know, that person, this is their, this is their sole focus, right? Like I'm doing a hundred different things. So like, I'm, I'm, I'm not giving my full attention to this thing, right? So you're bringing on a, a team member that can give their full attention to this thing, which means that they can serve the customer even at a higher level, you know, like that's like the, the coolest part about it. I'm starting to see like, wow, like, look at this stuff. Like we're catching, we're catching potential errors on the project, right? Like, you know, in the scope of work, it said three right-hand doors. Now we're catching that it's two right-hand doors and one left-hand door. So not only are we serving the customer at a, at a higher level because we're getting their the order correct from the beginning, but we're also serving ourselves because now we don't have to buy that extra door and have a wasted door. Like now we can just order the right quantity and right swinging doors, right hand, left hand doors from the beginning, which serves the organization even at a higher level. So it's like, yes, it gets crazy in the beginning. And sometimes you have to do it in the beginning or else you just kind of can get it or else you can get over your, your skis. Right. And when you get over your skis, it's never good. Right. Like when, as a skier, when you're over your skis, that's when you fall and you, 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 you like start tumbling and rolling down the hill. Like you want to make sure you're in alignment. And the only way that I've been able to find figure out and stay in alignment is make sure that we, we have the process built out in the beginning, make sure that there's revenue there, make sure that these profitable, these projects are profitable. And once we've determined that, then we have to bring on an, other team members to help support that and have their full focus on it and, and, and allow this thing to, to, blossom. Um, and, and, and it's a process where like, and yes, you feel stuck. It's like, Oh my God, I'm running. And like, I got all these things going on. And, 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 but at the same time, it's worth it because I know that if we don't get it down right in the beginning, we're going to bring this new team member on like, Hey, go run this thing. They don't really know how to run it. Now, all of a sudden they're creating more, more problems on the project than, than there should be. And you don't even really know if, if, there should be problems or there shouldn't be, there shouldn't be problems on the project because you haven't actually like built out the process. So now when there, there's additional problems on the project, so we've had that situation too. Like when I, now when there's additional problems on the project, you're like, there's something there's, we're out of alignment with this team member because like I've, we've, we've built out this process. We know that how this should work and we know the types of problems we should be getting. And that we're getting way more problems than we should be getting. So like, it's not, maybe it's, it's not the contract vehicle. It's actually the person. Right. So that's another benefit that I didn't even think about before right now about this process that 
when you go and prove out that process or you have a other, other, another high performing team member that you've already built a lot of trust and rapport with, prove out that process in the beginning, build it out, and then you pl- apply a new team member to it, and, and, and they're, they're getting more problems than, than what you previously had gotten, you know that that team member is not a good fit. So you got to sometimes make tough decisions in business. You got to move that team member and, and, up and add another team member that is accountable, that is aligned, that can respond to these questions and that does have good thinking, right? Because we don't need, we, we need people in the organization that are doers, but are also that are thinkers because doers and reckless doers can just create a lot of problems. One of my friends, he talks about, and I love this story. He's like, everybody prides themselves as being the fireman. I'm the fireman. I'm the fireman. But dude, you created the fire. You created the fire because you put someone in the position and you didn't give them any instruction. You didn't give them any process. You And you just threw them at the problem. And then now they're creating more problems and you're priding yourself. on I'm the fireman and I'm going to go in there and put out the fire. Well, dude, you created that fire. Now, if you've created the process and you got a team member that goes on to that that uh, that process and you know already know it's built out, you know it's you know it you know it's 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 a solid process, and then now all of a sudden you're getting a bunch of fire from that. You, you, yes, like you got to go out there and put out the fire, but you also know you got a team member that's not good, and you can remove that team member and and and, and then locate another team member and and attract and align another team member to that to that role so that you can keep the role keep keep that process and uh, your customers satisfied in and, and 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 that new potential revenue stream continuing to produce profit for the organization produce revenue for the organization um, to continue to grow and scale and, and build that process out. So I know it, it gets tough in the beginning. It's like, oh, you're pulled in all these different directions, but it, it's worth it. It's worth it. I never said this game was going to be easy, but you know, this game, if you if you do it right and there's money to be made and there's, there, there's, there's prof, there's profit to, to put to the bottom line on these projects, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. So with that, let's go out there and, and, and build our legacy. If this is something that you found value in, share it with another contractor or DM me with what you thought was valuable. Appreciate you. Have a great day.